Hello, and welcome to another Fierce Break. So today, we have a rope. We're going over L-sit rope climbs. We've gone over regular rope climbs. We've gone over legless rope climbs. We've gone over a couple variations of L-sits. So we get to combine all of those into the L-sit rope climb, which is the most difficult kind of rope climb that I have seen programmed in any sort of CrossFit workout. So Main site recently started programming them. So if your box says main site programming, or if you're looking to compete in maybe like some of the sanctionals or other events, then you never know, they might pop up. Plus, if you practice your L-set rope climbs, your lats are gonna get stronger, your biceps, your grip, your abs, your hip flexors, your quads, there's just so many benefits that come from doing L-set rope climbs. So why not give them a try? Plus, if you're just doing, if you've done L-set rope climbs, legless are gonna seem really, seem a lot easier, and then regular are gonna seem super easy. So basically an L-set rope climb, climbing up the rope, holding your legs up at 90 degrees in that wonderful L-sit that people know and love, or maybe not know and love so much, but we try to convince ourselves that we know and love it because it's really good for us. So what does it look like? If you're a beginner, I suggest you start standing. As you get more advanced, then you can start sitting on the ground before you do your rope climb. So if you've never done it before, like I said, I suggest start standing, then you'll lift your legs up, go from there. I think just having legless rope climbs before doing the health rope climbs, just because then you know the basic strength is there for especially your lats, your biceps, and your grip. So an health rope climb today, we're just gonna start. We're gonna do two different variations, but for now we're gonna start standing, lift those legs up, and climb straight from there. So what that's gonna look like, holding onto the rope just above your head, lift those legs up, and climb from there. So as I'm doing these, I like taking small steps and just continuing to move my hands. I do have really short arms, so that's one reason for it. If you have longer arms, you might be able to reach a little bit farther, but I prefer keeping constant tension on my biceps as I climb up. So I can keep it a little bit faster rather than doing a long reach and then having to take a second and then another long one, taking a second. I prefer just kind of like going up nice and quickly. So one more time, grabbing onto that rope, lift my legs up and then moving pretty quickly through those steps. Try to keep those legs up the whole time. Yes, it will really get your abs and your hip flexors going. And it makes it a lot harder to climb the rope too because, well, when you have regular rope climbs, you can use your feet. Legless, you can at least like swing your legs a little bit to help get momentum to go up the rope. But when we're doing L-sit, you don't get any of that momentum. So ideally, you're gonna be starting on the ground sitting with your legs straight in front of you, climbing up from there. So what that would look like, starting on the ground, and ideally your feet will be in the air as you get lifted off, just because, well, that makes it a little bit harder. And you're holding an outfit, your feet have to be at least parallel to your hips, so might as well get them up from the beginning. So what does that look like? holding our feet up off the ground and then climbing from there. And then traditionally wrapping your feet around the rope, which I just failed to do, and sliding right down just as you would a normal rope climb. Usually you just have to go up to the top wherever you reach the designated distance, usually 15 feet you can hit and then put your feet back on the rope and slide right down. So even there you noticed that I kept those nice short steps, continuing to go, keep those feet up as high as you can, try not to let them drop. Another reason doing l sits is very important. So if you're looking to step up your rope climb game, give these a try. Like I said, it's just gonna help every other kind of rope climb that you do. If you can do l sit you'll be able to do legless better, you'll be better at regular. And your grip, your lats, your biceps, along with your abs and hip flexors will be stronger as well. So has a multiple, there are multiple benefits associated with doing L-step rope climb. So give them a try, let me know how they go.